Hey, how's it going, everybody? Weekend War Attacks. We have lost this one. Sort of a weird matchup where this group um, is like a group that comes together quarterly and forms an alliance. They're like recruiting people. I don't really understand, but it seems like the matchup is weird because if you look at their score, like Titan score 1300. So I don't know how long they've been around or what is going on here, but it's sort of a weird fluke matchup and uh, the results are confirming that. So got a minion tank here. I think I'm gonna go for my strong, strongest anti-minion team first. Got a few anti-minion teams. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, all right. So I've got my reds to start, which is always good. Um, and it's even better to get them going before Costume Catalan has a moment to do anything. Uh, so... few options for moves here. I think this is the smartest one. And now we need one purple match. And then I think we can beat this team, which is good. Arrows are coming, which is not good. But overhealing is such a nice thing to have in this war type. Um, so let's just go for it. Let's go here and hope we can get one more red match. Nope, not a purple either. Alright, well... We'll let them have this one, or not. <laughs> okay. Look, we have one. Nope, it's already gone. And this is where war is dangerous. It's like I technically or arrows are dangerous, I technically have this well in my control, but these arrows are going to be taking away large chunks of my HP every single turn. And we have a lot of yellows on the board here, which is not good. So let's get a red match for next turn. Didn't do as much damage as I expected. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this side because we got two of them over here. So since we're losing this war, I'm just gonna go for the top score. Cause it feels nice to take that away from them at least. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Arrows are my least favorite war type because they are so particularly brutal. Mm. Oop, that's a lot of yellows again. So 
So I know someone has mentioned this before, but if you know what percentage of your HP the arrows take, please let me know in the comments down below. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, Elizabeth with arrows is pretty brutal too. So let's just aim for killing her. Alright, well, my best team, so not too much of a surprise. Alright, and now we're just looking for mo more high point teams. 53, another 50. 53, so we got two minion teams there. I'll probably take both of those. Another 53, I think I'll go. Green team there. 54, Alfrike. Probably will avoid that, actually. It's too much of a gamble with her. Another minion team. 51, 51. So I think I have four targets at this point. Alright, maybe I will make a team for that Alfrek. And then a uh, 53 here, which is just such a good match for a yellow team. So let's go here next. Hmm. Okay. Send some more yellows. Um, Sif is a bad combination. All right, I guess we got to do it. healer yet. Arrows are pretty dangerous. We've got a lot of snipers here. Definitely need healing. Hmm. But the gazelle does reduce the arrows as well, so maybe let's go for the old classic. I feel like it's smart to bring double healers in this war type. But it's also smart to stack and we got some some good uh, yellows here. Okay. So I can get a yellow match at the bottom there. And then it's like, am I better off hitting with Jackal first, so those yellow has, yellows hit more now, or am I better off waiting to charge up Gazelle and Odin, and then using, because we're not going to kill Jackal now. Uh, let's see if we can get some purples in here first. We'll also do a little bit more damage.
Oh, but now I screwed up my chance at the yellow match. Um... But I can make it here. So what the hell? We'll hit him with this. Make that next yellow match. That was a slick one, huh? Because uh, the dragon bomb formed, so one of those tiles wasn't going to move. All right. Now, this is the best move. The arrows haven't even gone off once yet. I don't think. Okay, that's good. Jackal going here first. And everyone. Okay, that's two. Let's go back over to the minion side here. Um, so I use my anti minion team here first. This is definitely dangerous. Um, oops. Um, this is definitely dangerous because they have Vanda. Um, but we're well stacked against Akarog, which is good because he hits quite hard on his first charge. Hopefully we can get our main strategy rolling before Cobalt is a concern at all. And why did they do Odin or uh, Heimdall on the right side? Because then if he revives, you have to wait a whole turn before you get to use whoever he revived. Strange. Um... All right, let's double check this here. Crimble needs the troop. All right. So I've got two purple matches. Oh, there's got to be a diamond in here. Mm. Like, basically, if there was a purple tile here, then we would have a T diamond. Um... What else? They don't have many moves, though, which is the problem. And I can't make any matches underneath that spot. But two matches is just not enough. However, if I make... If I drag this to the left, then there's a chance that something falls in between those. And that would match four. Uh, that wouldn't be enough either. I really need nine. Um, well, that's where all my purples are. I think that's still my best bet. It's going to clear a lot of reds, too, though. Do I want that? I could also make a move into Akarog to try to get some more purples on the other side there, but I think this is my best move. Okay. Hmm. 
So I need two more purple matches. I have one. I guess I can make the other, depending on how lucky I get. And I get very lucky. Ha <laughs> Yes. Oh, Alfrek. Do me proud. Okay, that's pretty good coverage. Um, like usual, I think I'm going to hold Lepiota. Since I'm not matching any purples. Oh, that's going to kill though. That's okay. This should kill as well. And Cobalt's going to hit someone else. Let's just get her out of here. And then now we just have to worry about um, Heimdall. So, because he has a chance to revive. The ones he could revive are not... I think we're doing pretty good because I'm contemplating taking the uh, green diamond since I have nothing else going on. So we'll hold Grimble just in case Beer gets revived. We'll take some yellows out of this as well. Um, okay, so now I think I can kill Cobalt. So we'll hold those. This is where it gets a little ugly. So let's get our healer going again regardless. Uh, Vanda's not active yet, which is good. And will anyone come back? No. All right. So uh, I think I'll take this purple and yellow into her while she's charged. Now they have their ailment protection, unfortunately. But she's going to die. Let's just take him out of the fight for now. I don't care if Cobalt goes off. He won't? Okay. Okay. So we gotta wait for him to come back from hibernation. And smash him in the face. Okay, three down. Next up, we'll go here with my other anti-minion team. So, I liked what I did last time. Will that work here? No. So, is there a spot where that can work? And what I did last time was being able to copy someone with Lord Loki that would give me a benefit instead of using costume Kirill because they're going to charge in the same amount of tiles but there's a distinct advantage to um so I guess that's here but beer is pretty dangerous um Beer is more dangerous, I, sh I should say, than, uh, than Freya. Fifty three. Hmm. Larusa is still a bit of a wild card. Mother North. I 
think that Elizabeth is a bigger risk than I need because um, she can screw up my mana breakpoints, which will, I think, mess with Scotty. Okay, well, I know I'm going to take one of these minion teams. So, and I know I want to go for highest points. So, we'll just go here. Alright, so, Scotty... Curl. Costume Curl. I really need to finish his base form. Okay, then we need some healers to accompany these two. I'm tempted to go regarding Proteus. Or maybe regard and Hansel. So we're going to need three blues. We've got Sniper on the flank who's going to be hitting pretty early. That could kill Proteus in one hit though. Sniper's on the wing. Garnet's overhealing could be a problem still because... Um, that'll mean the stacks will take that much longer to secure a win. But I've got to get moving here, so I think Proteus is a good idea. And a regard. So it's not a lot of healing in my off color, but it gives me a strong approach in either color. So let's go for it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Unknown target. Wish I didn't have so many good wizards. I would love to emblem another Proteus, but I can't justify it. Alright, here we go. Very good board. The only move that I like somewhat is the yellows in the middle to get the purples out of a diagonal orientation and potentially bring in some blues. Um, if that doesn't pan out, then probably the red match next, but I don't really like any of what's yeah ugh. any of what's going on here so there's this green match at the bottom which gives me a chance at all three of those follow-ups yeah this is the kind of match that you lose to with freya and arrows just taking Considering I have zero prospect matches, it takes too long to get something going. So a red diamond is not going to help me except to clear a bunch of tiles out of the center. Um, she's already charged, so I don't see a real disadvantage to that. Doesn't help me set up any matches, though. possible with some luck we pull this off still let's get rid of this combo the greens hopefully get some more blues fuck oh, I really 
dangling it here. I think the smartest move is to take the purples into... Uh, don't want to get those minions going. Maybe take the blue or the uh, purples into June. Hopefully get a blue in there, then a guaranteed blue the next turn. And yeah. Hmm. Oh my God. All right, I know what I have to do, but this is getting really sketchy. So there's my blue match. Oof. Oh, and here comes fucking Magni. <laughs> that was shit. Well, that's the thing I don't like about that Scotty team. I mean, I just got fucked with the board there. Was completely starved of any matches. Um, even with stacks, that would have been really hard to come back from. Grimble would have gotten us out of that a lot better. But that was terrible. All right. What's left? I think it's all 51s left. There's a 53 here, another minion team. Save that for the last. Not getting the top score for sure, so not gonna worry about it too much. We got double taunt. Sure. Yeah, I'm starting to not like that Scotty team that much because it just feels so passive. You're just like praying the whole time that she works out and against the sniper team. Like there's just so many teams that it doesn't work against that I just don't like using that team or I feel nervous using that team because like if you go against a, um, you know, strong attacking flanks or a bunch of snipers, like all these things are arrow wars, all these things start to weaken that approach uh, significantly and it just makes it not fun to use. Mount Green Diamond, nope. Almost. I think I want to avoid the yellow diamond and see what kind of greens I can get. Alrighty. So it's like I can easily make another green match, but I don't want to because I only need one tile. I'm confident I'll get some more greens in here. Okay, biggest threat first. Probably. Well, if I just kill the sniper, 
then there's not much threat here. So I can sort of take my time a little bit more now. Good combo. Uh, here come arrows. Oh, taunt didn't get activated. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, we're getting picked apart though, so I've got to be a little careful still. Got that diamond there, but it's a lot of, it's matching a lot of greens just to get, you know, one tile again. So. Well, gives us a guaranteed follow up match, which is a good thing. So yeah, this team still has the potential to be quite annoying with all these minions here. But that should be a kill. We lose our mana, we get it right back. And this could be a kill. We'll save Vivica for last. Well, I got a decent amount of greens on that one, which is nice. Not now. Well, I'm not worried about this either way. It's proving to be a little bit annoying at the moment, but that'll be fine. Okay, I'm on a shield too. One more. Let's see what my team's gonna be first. Oh, so I've got I've got a strong blue team. I've got a lot of good heroes left. I think I'm gonna go blue and purple means we want a buffing tank with a red flank. Uh, avoiding taunt would be nice. Ooh, battery's getting low. Um, buffing tank with a red flank. We've got this here. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, sure. All right, so that's going to be Ariel. Finley. Oops. Finley. Cobalt. And the question is, do I want to go regard in Proteus, or do I want to go strong synergy in a second color? Ariel is not the strongest healer. Because I have Fluffy here, which um, is a very strong anti-minion hero. Uh, do I want to go slow Lady of the Lake? Sure. Let's move our healers apart, though. Uh, 
All right, this is a new team for me, but I've got double healers. I don't love slow healers, but I've got a strong answer for Freya going off. Very strong follow-up in green with that HP reduction. They don't have any boosted HP. Um, and a real good kill shot with defense down. So, let's go for it. Two healers. Probably should just give her a... Well, let's see. Uh, one sec, let me... Just wanted to check my mana table there to see if there was a point in giving a mana troop to Lady of the Lake with Ariel's buff. And slow heroes can charge in uh, with nine tiles, functionally fast speed, with a 34% bonus. So Ariel gives 24, and I would need a level 17 mana troop on her. And I don't think I took the mana node for her, so she needs this troop as well. So we'll go for this. Unknown target. Nope. Oh, damn. So close to a blue diamond. But if I use the greens to set it up, then I move one of the key ones out of the way. The other option is I have this red to move this green down, which would drop everything in, but the red is a combo with purple, which screws it up again. So that's out of the question. Is it? Like if I do this first. Oh yeah. Not happening. Uh, another board that's making me nervous. All right, well, we're getting greens going. Um, let's keep working the middle here. All right, I've got my blues sort of just in time. These minions, though, are really adding up okay more blues so we definitely need the heal we definitely want to use this before Rusula goes off so I think I need to lead the hit on Rusula. I don't think it would be enough even still with those minions it might not be enough um, but we don't want to take that extra damage the board here is looking pretty good though. I'm not sure what my follow-up move is gonna be yet, but I've got a blue match at least with maybe a chance at greens. Okay. So let's go for that. Cobalt on this side. Oh yeah, that oh that was a duration reduction. So I guess we'll just try to kill her. Ouch. So Rusla doesn't hit hard, but we just have to avoid using special skills for the moment. Come on. Okay, so that Rusula's thing is gone. So what we want is a kill here. I fear June more than Rusula because of that 
really strong hitting power. But what I need here is I need to set up another green match. So Rusula's more charged. Well, that's not true. I think I should kill June, make the yellow match, greens into Rusula, and then get my minions going. Elizabeth is going to fire first, which is going to hurt, but I am too far away from healing and I can't kill anyone else. So. Alright. Didn't have to make a move for it, which is good. I will... Oh, I don't even have to take the hit from Rusula. Um... All right, so we'll take the heal, take the minions, try to set up some more blues here. Okay. Um, let's get our defense down first because Mother North is my primary target right now. So we'll go defense down, big hit. Kill Rusula, who's just like a mosquito at this point. And we don't have to worry about hitting her because we have Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake is one of the earliest event heroes that I got and just kept getting greens that I thought were a little bit better or a little bit more important for where I was at. And I finally ascended her and she is pretty fun. All right, so five one-shots. Um, can't complain with that. Wasn't the perfect score I was hoping for, but um, that's the way it goes sometimes. Let's see what I would have gotten out of curiosity. So that screwed up hit was a two. I think that team, let's see, we got to look back in the archives here. I think that team was a 53 uh, well, no one-shots against that team. I don't feel too bad. Fifty-four, so I would have gotten fifty-two more points. So, we are... We would have got a 318, I think. 54, so add the 4, no, 320. So 54, add the 4, that puts us at 270. And then 50 onto 270 is 320. So we would have been firmly in first place, but couldn't pull it off. So I might think about totally revising that Scotty team into more of my usual type of team, which is um, having two functional components there. I think with snipers, um, an unemblemed Proteus is just too much of a liability. And using four-star healers primarily, too much of a liability. I need to bolster that team a bit because it's, it's uh, a little bit too much praying. Um, so we got our asses kicked. Uh, like I said, I think this was a fluke matchup. Um, 6,700 is, is very high for an arrow war. So I feel like this is probably what should have been more like a top 100 alliance with these, with these uh, teams. But if you watch other people's war videos, you can see what people get in arrow wars to try to compare what a 6,700 is. Um, I don't think we have easy defense teams either. We have definitely some stronger and some weaker because we're still sort of a split alliance, but that's what keeps us in the top 400 about, which is where I'm, which I think is a good spot to be. It shields you from a little bit of the, the craziness that, that can be in this game if you're spending tons of money. Um, so yeah, be sure to leave, the, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.